Hi, today we're going to be talking about Adinkra symbols and meanings. Adinkra symbols are part of West African culture and are used in fabrics, logos, and pottery. Adinkra are visual symbols with historical and philosophical significance, originally printed on cloth which royals wore to important ceremonies. Originating with the Yaman people of Ghana and the Ivory Coast, the symbols have assumed global importance and are now found in logos, clothes, furniture, sculpture, earthenware pots, and many others. Here you'll see a sole trader in Accra selling some fabrics with Adinkra symbols on them. Ghana, which was formerly Britain's Gold Coast colony, became independent in 1957 and took the name of the ancient Kingdom of Ghana. Although relatively small in area and population, Ghana is one of the leading countries of Africa, partly because of its considerable natural wealth and partly because it was the first black African country south of the Sahara to achieve independence from colonial rule. As you can see in this infograph, most Ghanaians live in cities. They are also predominantly Christian and have a young population. You can learn more about Ghana and other countries from Culturegrams, one of OCL's databases. Now that we've learned a little bit about where these symbols come from, we can look into their meanings. There isn't time to go over every symbol, so I'll be touching on some of the more popular ones. A coma is the heart. Though the heart shape is a universal symbol representing love, it is also an indikra symbol with a slightly different meaning. As an indikra, the, the heart shape represents patience and tolerance. Fahodie is a symbol meaning independence. It is very meaningful in African culture and African American culture when you look back at the history of African people and how hard they've had to work to gain independence for the, from their colonial rulers and here in America from their slave owners. Adinkrahene is the chief of the Adinkra symbols. It's a symbol of greatness, charisma, and leadership. This symbol is said to have played an inspiring role in the designing of other symbols. It signifies the importance of playing a leadership role. Dwenemen means the horns of a ram. It represents strength in mind, body, and soul, but also humility, wisdom, and learning. This is used in the logo for the University of Ghana to show that it's important to have strength in yourself, but also to be humble. Here is some art the Lacey Teen patrons created at a paint party last year. They had a wonderful time learning about these symbols and doing their best to recreate them. We've only just scratched the surface of these symbols. There are a hundred others for you to explore, and there is, of course, much more to the diverse and beautiful culture of Ghana. So I hope you'll take time to explore on your own. Thank you so much for joining me today. I was able to share these symbols with you due to the generosity of Ndinkra.org. You can go to their website to explore the different symbols there. Support public libraries. Like, share, and subscribe for more great videos.